Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Tige here in the VIX pit on the SIBO. Of course, we're on expiration Wednesday. We're also on Fed Watch Wednesday. We have a Fed meeting today. We also expired today. We expired 1454 for September. A uh, 14 handle for the VIX on the low end of the range as it's been recently. In spite of the fact that we have everything going on around the world, not the least of which is the conflict between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. Uh, of course, the uh, oil situation we got going on over there. The trade war is still there and the economy is still a little bit iffy. Yet, the market still is at this big round number close to all-time highs, this 3,000 spot in the S&P 500. We've seen to be trending here all week long. Now, this week also is quadruple witching week. So sometimes on this big quadruple witching week, we get a pin in a nice round number. We happen to be right at 3,000. I think the market wants to pin right here. Of course, like I said, Fed meeting is a catalyst. We could blow us up or down either way out or away from that. Now, on Fed days, the last two Fed times we had a Fed meeting or a Fed uh, event, Jackson Hole, we had a big down day the day after the Fed was too hawkish for the market's liking. We were at relative highs then. The Fed talked him down. So market's expecting a cut. We're probably going to get some hawkish <coughs> uh, uh, language also. So what will that mean for the market? I want to just keep my powder dry during the announcement. Watch to see what happens. Maybe fade the first move or tr look what happens on Thursday and Friday. I, I think those will be the, the real moves in the market. And we'll follow those. Of course, markets move looking forward into October. October, a very volatile time of the year. Very important for stocks also. It sets up the fourth quarter for all of the stocks, which is a very big quarter for equities. So. Uh, behind me in the VIX bit, we got the front month October right at 17 right now in that future. Certainly putting a premium into the spot cash, of course, with the Fed announcement. And of course, October being a volatile month. We all remember last month's call activity, October 24s. Those are still weighing heavily on this market. With the VIX still at 104, people are still expecting a lot of movement in that VIX future in spite of the fact that there's already a $2.25 increase over the cash. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Tigay.